Hey, Jason here with Quick Lock Holsters. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a QLH split mold board. Uh, it's a permanent board. Um, so let's get started. All right, so things you need, and this is the way I do it. Uh, you know, not everybody's going to do it this way. Uh, this is the best way I found out that, uh, you know, to make a, a full board or a, a solid um, mold that's going to last a lifetime. Um, of course, you need your QLH split molds. Uh, today, I'll be doing with the uh, P320. Um, got your board. This is a half inch HDPE. Um, got it in red. So, uh, and then a piece of paper. Uh, something to clean with. I like to use the brake cleaner. It gets away, you know, all the dirt, grime, and everything like that. And then some spray adhesive, uh, 3M spray adhesive, um, multi-purpose number 77 there. Um, and of course, some paper towels and a pen. All right. First, uh, what you want to do is clean your board. Very little on the paper towel, and. Give your board a good cleaning and get everything off so that spray adhesive will stick to it. All right. Once that's clean, we'll give that a second to evaporate and dry off. You can see that. Going to hit it. With spray adhesive. I'm going to go over to the uh, little spray station over there. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the board sprayed. Uh, you can see the glue on there. Uh, I'm going to lay my sheet of paper that I'm going to draw on down on the board and get that nice and stuck. All right, so I'm going to flip this over and cut off the excess. Yeah, uh, maybe sharp knife. All right, got a sharp knife now. All right, so there's our blank canvas. And then we will get these to be positioned wherever we need them. But first, we gotta draw our lines, get our spacing. Spacing between the molds, what I like to do, since I'm gonna have these with suppressor sights, um, an inch and a half. So I'm gonna draw a center line from end of board to end of board to center, and then go out three quarter inch on both sides of that center line and it'll give me an inch and a half. Uh, 